Hello, it's Mrs. Cat here from Wyvern Academy. I'm here to share some strategies for success with you and ideas about how you could support your child in art. When I talk about art, I'm also talking about 3D art and I'm also talking about photography. They could all come under the same umbrella of art. So basically, we've been given the chance this year to just concentrate on the coursework component of our course. We usually get an exam that is given to us in January and the, the topics are provided by AQA but this year they're not doing that so all we've got to do this year is to put 100% effort into our coursework everything that we do this year is all going towards our exam grade so it's going to be quite nice because it's going to give us a really good opportunity to complete coursework to really work back into it and to really focus on what on our topics that we've already been given we're assessed in four different ways in art we're assessed throughout these assessment objectives that you can see assessment objective one is all to do with artists how they influence us assessment objective two is to do with experimenting we experiment especially in art by using different media and different techniques by coming up with different ideas in photography we use different editing programs to focus our work and we try and experiment with different ideas we record in assessment objective three throughout art in all areas through photography we also are able to draw we are also able to do lots of observational research and then in assessment objective four what we do is we pull all the assessment objectives one two and three together and we respond to what we've seen what we've tried and what we've took photographs of or how we've recorded so we're able to present that as usually a final piece some of the strategies that we found apart from supporting your child in these in in the ways that i've suggested on the slide here is to just continually ask them have you got any artwork that you can be doing so not only do we provide resources for them through google classroom we provide lots and lots of verbal feedback for them we're continually saying to them have you tried this um, we provide written feedback so that they can obviously respond to to it and progress from that but also um, we're able to provide any specialist equipment that you, that you might need but if you as parents at home could maybe ask them if they've got any homework because that seems to be an area where they aren't so good at responding to so what we'd like you to do if you could is just continually ask them and support them by telling them that their work is good and and take it in so a lot of the time it's confidence that we are finding that's a bit difficult for them so even if you get them encourage them to bring the work in then we can assess it a little bit better on an individual basis so some of the stuff that we ask you to help us with in the art department and the photography is just basically to practice so practicing their skills really does make a lot of difference it also helps with their confidence in that skill as well so we like to evaluate a lot as well so we ask them to annotate that means just tell them tell us what we th they think of the work that they've produced so if you could just encourage them to start voicing that that would be a real help to us so some of the things that we'd ask you to help us with is to work at home on a continual basis really we need them to complete work that might have started in school we also need them to practice new skills we need them to be researching artists stuff that they really like really helps them and it also begins to get them to understand things in a deeper a deeper level as well so taking photographs is really good way of them recording you get lots and lots of marks for taking photographs and we ask them all the time to be continually taking photographs if you are a photography student we need them to take those photographs so they need to take lots and lots of photographs of the same topic for them to get a really really good response to what we're asking them to do um, and also to make sure that they've got the right equipment now in photography they can access online lots and lots of the of the 
programs that we use in class but if they need anything specialist equipment help with cameras or anything like that we do have them available to lend so I've put a few links on there just to help you with your, your resources. So if you need any ideas about artistic techniques, they're really available, lo lots and lots available on YouTube for them to look at. Um, Pinterest gives them some really good ideas and inspiration, also helps with a lot of artists. There's a really good contemporary art site called This Is Colossal. And the student art guide is, gives up to date examples and any art help. There's also a section on the Tate website that's especially for art exams and also for, for artist help. Google Arts and Culture will give you a really good overview and actually visit galleries and you can go on virtual tours of the galleries as well. And then of course you can respond to that and they can respond to that in through their study. So words of wisdom. Words of wisdom from me are that you definitely need to work at home. So it's not just I work in class. We need you to complete the tasks at home. We need you to be doing extra tasks at home. We need you to be trying to extend your learning all of the time. So taking risks um, is a really valuable part of art and photography. And we find that if they push sometimes the ideas that they need and that um, they get higher grades and they're also building confidence. So everything counts towards all of these grades and we ask them not to throw anything out. So if they do, if you do find them throwing stuff out and saying it's no good, just encourage them to put it back into their folder and bring it into school and we'll see if we can improve it. So thank you for listening to me. I'm Mrs. Cass and if you've got any questions, you're more than welcome to email me at Wyvern Academy. So it's cass at wyvernacademy.org. Thanks very much.